This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a green screen key using a clip with really poor lighting. <laughs> this is what I seem to be given to work with. We've got lighting in here. The lighting is uneven. There's bad ripples in the background. This is, this is a catastrophe. <laughs> it's just awful. So we're going to fix this. And I'm going to key it against a blue background. And let me show you some tricks that we can use to make our keys work. Select the clip. Let's go find the Gaussian blur. Nope, let's go find the Ultra key. Right there. Drag Ultra key down. Select the clip. Go to Effect Controls. Under Ultra key, select the eyedropper. Click near his face, right about there. This time I'm going to switch this from composite to alpha channel. The rules are that which is supposed to be transparent should be solid black. That which is supposed to be opaque is solid white. So we start with the matte generation. The very first control that we tweak is pedestal. And we're going to grab that and drag it up. Get this to be as solid black as we can get. Right around in there. Until it stops making changes. Then I'm going to tweak shadow and pull shadow down. Why down? Because it gives me the effect that I want. This I don't know, know really what these controls are doing and I don't really care what they're doing. I just want to make this background solid black. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for an edge so I've got solid black around him. Let's see what transparency does. Okay, transparency. See if I see gray in there? That He's going to bleed through. You want to make sure that your foreground has no gray in it at all. It's got to be solid white. But by adjusting the transparency to find the point just where it turns solid white, right there, now I've got nice black edges around here. And we're going to take advantage of a mask. If I apply the mask using ultra key, only the area inside the mask is keyed. Well, that's not what I want. I want the key to be to be everywhere, so I don't want that. Instead, we're going to go back to the opacity mask. And now I'm going to use the pen tool to draw a mask. Set this to 50% so I can see the edges. Make sure the pen is selected and click, 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 click. I'm drawing right around him and I'm connecting again. And what it's done is it's made everything outside the mask transparent. So I don't have to worry about all that garbage. I got rid of all the garbage and all the folds and all the badness of that key by the mask telling Premiere to just work with the area inside the mask. Then to see what Andrew looks like, I don't need to be in the alpha stage anymore. I want to go back to the composite, so I'll set this to composite, and there he is. We now have a very nice key of him keyed against this amorphous blue background. Except I don't want the amorphous blue background. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go with Dark City. Oh, that's nicer. Except, hmm, he's a little small. So let's go to the motion area. Let's move him over, right about there, and let's make him bigger, right about there. And let's go over to color and take the vibrance and pull the vibrance down. There we go. Now we've got a nice key of him, except the Dark City is too, is too um, in focus. Go to Effects, and go find Gaussian, and pull that down on there, and increase the blur. Andrew, look at the audience, please. Thank you. What you're seeing is that we don't use effects in isolation. Here, I use the Ultra key to get Andrew isolated an opacity mask to get rid of the garbage, 
a position change to move him over to the right hand side of the frame, a Gaussian blur on the background to give us a depth of field, a color change to make him a little less saturated so he fits in more with the look of the background. This is true of just about all effects. You use multiple effects in combination to create the look that you want. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing inside Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 284. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.